we putting me in? What we putting me in? Realistically, what we putting me in? I'm feeling like up oh, nine million, nine nine million. Look, 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 nine million. Chat for nine million. If y'all be real, like if y'all be some cool good people, if y'all be some cool good people, this could be fire. Here, no Let's go check out the space. So welcome to the apartment. This is the entry lobby way, as you can see here. You have your floating staircase off to the left. This is a duplex apartment. I like it already. Apartment. It's four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. Just on. Why'd you click what? Cause y'all, y'all supposed to be getting me a house for nine million. This. Uh, I'm. A, I extended the time too. If you didn't watch the last stream, I extended the time till uh, till July. So I mean, now y'all got instead of like one month. You know to really get y'all funds together you got a little extra time but you don't got much i'm just saying i'm just putting it out there bro under 4,300 square feet and once again this is a history what's stopping me from designing my own house um me because i'll fucking blow that shit up before you get a chance to really fully realize your dreams historic loft to just come on in entering you have your open concept loft space you can see the ceilings are 13 feet high this was actually an old mercantile library back in the day which has been converted to this pretty incredible living space to start off the tour here we have a little sitting area when you walk in some mirrors on the wall to add that depth to the space and really break it up since it is so open concept off of the seating area here below our feet we have five inch white oak floors on the planking below us making our way deeper into the loft we have your formal seating area with this elongated couch here and you'll notice there's actually no television in here and that couch long as fuck that's done really just to keep the serenity of the space it's a very calming relaxing space and having a tv would kind of get in the way of that but i want to bring your attention to the back windows here i mean i disagree but i don't really like tvs no more for real to be honest like i obviously you need a tv but you don't really you have views of Cooper Square. We have some light snow falling down in New York City. It's a very historic area in New York City. This loft has eastern and northern facing views. And the beauty of having a loft space like this is you have these awesome nine foot windows. Dot we have nine of throughout this open loft space on the first SSI. floor. And then this Let exposed me take you out, treat you with a nice meal, spend her bag on you, and help you get that house, sir. Why do I have to go with you for you to just want to see me in a $9 million house? Like, what do I have to give you? You need to let me take you out, treat you with a nice meal, spend a bag on you and help you. Like what? If you got nine million, just send me the nine mil. If you really want to see me living lavish, fuck is wrong with you? Red brick. I don't know about you, but the red brick in a New York City apartment, like that just does it for me. I want to talk about this. So to break up the space now into the dining room, we have this raised. They going to give you a hot meal, child? No, I'm going to beat a hot meal. I'm not falling for it. This white oak platform with the lighting built right underneath the stairs here. And because the ceilings are so high, you can have this raised up, elevated above your entertaining area, just giving it a nice kind of juxtaposition and mix up with the space. Making your way into the dining room, we have seating for eight with this marble table, modern light fixture above us, again, with these nine foot windows, you know, scaffolding right now, but that just kind of comes with the territory in the city. It's not perfect. Right. Making your way off of this dining room platform, we enter your chef's kitchen. Front and center here, we have your island with this curved breakfast bar here. And this is a fully integrated kitchen where you could have a commercial chef come in here and cook. You have an eight burner cooktop here. Y'all cooking for me, Chad? With this beautiful hood above, stone on the backsplash, giving it that nice elevated feeling. And then everything's built in. I won't even point this out. I like the gold like atmosphere that I'm getting right now. View is trash, but the gold like atmosphere and aviance is coming off of the color and the wood and everything like that. Re really make me feel like I'm at home in this situation, you know? So you have. All your appliances hidden away nicely in here. Microwave, coffee maker, all of that. I think it's a nice touch, especially in a loft. Plenty of countertop space. Dishwasher built right in here with the white oak on the cabinetry. Two deep set sinks here. I also love if you look down below here, you have the stainless steel running the entire length of this countertop. You have your outlets built right in. The faucet's built right in. And I love how it kind of matches the stainless steel of the refrigerator and the cooktop, giving it that really industrial feeling throughout the whole kitchen. I even want to point this out. You have this little cupboard here for all of your tea, your spices, right here so you can access them and actually cook in this kitchen. I know that's a rarity in New York City, actually cooking in your kitchen, but with this apartment, you can do just that. Tons of space to cook. You have your Sub-Zero refrigerator, and then right off of the refrigerator, check this out, you have your push to touch it and open chef's pantry, where you actually have wine storage here, more shelving space, and even an ice maker all right in the kitchen so this is really a chef's kitchen in the new york city apartment and i really like how they integrated it in this open concept loft space moving off of the kitchen we're gonna make our way back to the front of the apartment and i really want to point out how thoughtful and minimal all this design is i love how you have the floating black staircase with that black wood going all the way up the double height of the right street. it's floating bro just go upstairs though i want to see some the vanity 
right off of this powder room you have your closet space for your coats when you enter the apartments another feature that isn't common he's still not upstairs oh my god this is cute bro but like oh wait across the hallway we have the first of four guest bedrooms and as you can see this is a super large guest bedroom for a new york city apartment it's not it's not really like in general but it's the the ceilings are crazy I do fuck with the ceilings. What do you do if a spider get in though? In this first guest bedroom, you have two of those oversized nine foot windows. Oh my God, those are blinds? Holy shit. Give you tons of sunlight into the space. You even have that little sliver of that red brick. And this is an ensuite bathroom, which is pretty awesome. So you could have your guests staying here and never really leave this guest bedroom. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this week's episode, Omega. My man just said you can kidnap people. All over the corner, you have that exposed red brick, giving you that New York City feeling. And I want to point out that the walk-in shower, the ceiling height is actually raised to about 10 feet, just giving you that volume in the shower. I love a nice tall shower. It's a very strange thing, but it makes a difference. So heading out of this first guest bedroom, we will now make our way back into the hallway where you have the laundry room, powder room, and now finally we're going up this beautiful steel staircase with the white oak planks. I'm You've feeling it. white oak here in the railing. And I love just that darkened wood on the back here going up the full double height of this duplex to the second floor of the apartment. It's pretty cool because from this landing here, you just go upstairs, bro. Right through the planks. And then this is a very built-in shelving. This could technically be just a open concept office area. You could really do anything in this space. Uh, and then this, this is actually- What the fuck is this? Bro, this better lead me to Narnia. The portal to Narnia. Port uh. No, it's not a pre-watch. No, I can't help that innovative geniuses just think like me. I can't help that. I can't. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can't help that innovative geniuses just think like me. Like, personally, like, they knew that I was going to watch the vid. Just saying, bro. Yeah, shall we? I'm not sure where this is from or how old it is, but it's definitely very antique and very important. But behind me, this is the second. What the? What, wait, what do you mean? All that for a closet? They are not just like me. I'm not sure where this is from or how old it is, but it's definitely very antique and very important. But behind me, this is the second bedroom. And this bedroom, we actually have the blinds that are down currently just because the Wi-Fi is not working with the house, but you can see the space. Again, it's all en suite. Towards the back of this, you have floor to ceiling closet space built right in here. And this is cedar. You can't smell this, but the smell from here. What the fuck is there a phone in there for? Nice cedar closet space. And Why is there a phone in the closet? And then again, that ensuite bathroom. Why the fuck is there a phone in the closet? Right in here. And just like the guest bedroom downstairs, you have that red brick running up the entire length of this duplex. And I like how they left that exposed, giving you that New York feeling. Leaving this bedroom, we're back into this main. Why the fuck is that door so extravagant to be just a closet? The area off of the staircase. He walking past it like it makes sense. Again, there's that home office in front of us here. Another huge column supporting this structure. For the primary suite, you don't have one, but that mirror is beautiful. Two entrances, one here, and then one off to the side of my right. Literally perfect. Right, we're gonna head through this one. Again, that white oak going up the side here with that built-in shelving, another huge column. And now this, this is the primary suite where you have these classic half moon windows overlooking Cooper Square. A uh, very nice view, creative on the window. It's not the norm place with that red it's definitely different brick. in my opinion this is one of the most new york bedrooms i've ever seen there's a lot to break down if you look here all the cabinetry again it's all built-ins with that cedar right off your built-in closet with the dress ain't no fucking phone in there though sir and there's actually a tv that pops up out of here the bed takes up all the real estate in this primary suite with this beautiful built-in here side tables on either side of the bed and behind more storage space that's so weird bro Cause a nigga like me pushing the bed all up against the wall, like, why would I need to put shit in the back of my bed? And then in front of me, you actually have built-in LED lights illuminating floor to ceiling mirrors, so you can actually use this as a change room for the morning. And I like how it is an open concept. It kind of keeps with the theme of that first level where the bed- I just make bigger closet. And it's just taking up- Yo, these blinds up here though? Why didn't you just make more window? Yo, who made this space? Like, I get it, but like, why not make the window way bigger if the blinds gonna cover the whole fucking wall? 
of all the space here. It's very minimal, and especially with these half moon windows, it really just gives a, a certain feeling, a very New York feeling. But if we head over this way, we now enter the walk-in closet and the primary bathroom. And this has a very yacht-like feeling. I've been kind of getting that vibe throughout the whole space. He's right. Here you have I feel like I'm on a boat. Soaking tub built right in marble on the countertop and that soaking tub. Behind me, you have your steam shower enclosed in with floor to ceiling marble and a nice little seat here. This is the first time we've actually seen marble in the apartment, which is interesting because it's been very rustic and very industrial. And of course, you have your you have your Toto toilet, which does everything, rinse, scrub, heat, cool, all that good stuff. You have your built-in TV, and if we make our way across this way, you have some more closet space here. Again, with that high ceiling. Y'all calling it ugly, but like if somebody say you live here a year for free, you know what I'm saying? Like you going, and I get it. You would say that. Like it makes sense to just say yes, but like you'd find you'd find the good in it, you know, very quickly. Like you just understand. Like I get how this could work. I do. I do. I get how it will work, but at the same time, it's like. I don't know. If I knew the people who made it, I'd probably just tell them to tear the whole thing down. These are 10-foot ceilings in here. Because the ceilings are so high, you have these built-in drop-downs just so you can access your clothing all the way up there because of the high ceiling height. Now, if we make our way into this room, this is technically the fourth bedroom. It could be an extension. Wait, of wait. How big are all the... Whoa, the master... The master was what? Now, if we make our way into this room, this is technically... It did not look like the fourth bedroom. It could be an extension of that primary suite. And here it's kind of staged almost as an office. So it could be a office, a guest bedroom. And again, this has that built in ensuite bathroom here with all the same finishes as that primary bathroom with your magic total toilet. This kind of lost me, bro. Kind of lost me, dude. Not feeling it, uh, Eric. Gotta be honest with you. Stevie head at windows, airplane bathroom. Why are y'all being so rude? This man invited you to his home out of the kindness of his heart. When you get this apartment, it'll be complete if you get a maid. I volunteer with expeditious nature. It'll be complete if I get a chef. Preferably the exact chef that Two Chains has, and then I'm a marrier. It's not his. Yes, it is. He's showing the house. It belongs to him. He owns every house that he shows. Watch the $135 million one. Bro, chill. 